G'day guys, it's Mark Fraser here. Um, I'm 18, I'm from a little town in the country, uh, Victoria, called Bansa, uh, and I'm an apprentice pilot. Yeah, so the journey for my started in 2007 for me. Uh, I was six years old at that stage. Uh, Dad got shown, I believe in 2006, uh, pretty much what carding was, um, how to get into it by one of his workmates. And um, yeah, I had a motorbike at that time, wasn't really that interested. Uh, as soon as Dad sort of brought um, the go-kart, his first go-kart, I was sort of just out in the shed, just looking at it, not really doing much, cleaning it. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much just went around to our local kart track. Luckily, here in Bansdale, we have a kart track, uh, which was only around about five minutes away from where we used to live. And, um, yeah, it was a bit of fun. Putted around for a few years, uh, probably a bit more years than what I should have. Um, and then we sort of hit uh, 2014 to 2015. Um, really started to get competitive, started racing uh, state and national level karting. Um, so travelled in 2015, we raced the uh, Karting Australia National Championships, or something like that they called it. And uh, we ended up 22nd, I believe, for the year in the championship. Um, and yeah, a few big names, even though we were only 14 at that stage, yeah, a few big names that I raced against back then, such as Jack Dillon, who's now, I believe, racing in Formula 3 um, over in Europe, so, yeah, huge names um, that are now onto a lot more bigger and better things. Um, I don't know. So after all that um, sort of carding business, to start to get fair bit fairly uh, expensive, a um, bit more than what we could sort of um, do to be competitive. Um, so yeah, we found the Hyundai Excel class uh, in Victoria, went there sand down, and I believe it was 2015, uh, one of their last rounds for the year. We went there, we were sort of looking towards the Formula V uh, experience. But then after seeing the XLs and how many cars they sort of got at, uh, at the event and how close and I suppose you could say how good the racing was. Um, yeah, we sort of went that way. And uh, I remember it was my first ever shift I did at McDonald's at my first ever job. And um, I came home and Dad said, oh, um, do you want to come give me a hand to come lift these doors? Um, which obviously did a lot. Um, so I didn't really think much about it. I'm like, oh, I just got home from work. That was the worst thing I've ever done. And um, uh, yeah, pretty much dad was out there. He all ran out there and I was like, oh, I'll just go get changed and I'll be out there. He was there for the bloody camera. So I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And then I walk around the corner and there's this uh, red red and white uh, Hyundai Excel sitting there. I remember couple of tears coming out, I was like, oh, it's a race car, I've actually got a race car, and um, yeah, so that was awesome, uh, so we sort of started that in the 2016 year, um, not really expecting much that year, just sort of getting my head around the car, um, and sort of learning what a car is, how a car handles, compared to a go-kart, which is a lot different, um, and yeah, it was just a lot of fun that year actually went to the Nationals in Wakefield Park and we, I believe we ended up 7th uh, with a stock engine and on XYZs and that's sort of when the MCA shocks uh, started to come in, a lot more better shock and um, yeah, so a lot of fun that year, a lot of surprising results that we got, but yeah. And um, what happened next? And then after that 2016 season, that's after that 2016 um, season, we looked to uh, look forward to um, actually building our own car. Uh, so we bought that first car off Adam Bywater, which was a very successful Hyundai XL racer, and still is to this day. Um, really good to go wheel to wheel again. Um, and yeah, we actually built a car uh, towards, I believe it was the middle of uh, 2015, we built the car. And um, 
just try and make it perfect, but it'll make it look perfect. Uh, I just said perfect twice. Oh my god. Um, and yeah, just try and make it. Oh, I've rooted it now. So yeah, towards the uh, middle of 2015, 20, 16. Oh. Yeah, so towards the middle of 2016, we uh, actually started to build our own uh, Greenberg Cell, which I race to this day. And um, yeah, it was really cool building out that car with Dad, uh, finally building a race car from the bottom up. And yeah, we raced that. Well, now we're, we're in 2020. Who knows when we go on racing, but um, yeah, so we, our first uh, race meet in that was um, at Sandown in 2017, the first round state championship, and um, yeah, now we're still racing it to this day, uh, done a few different things to it, uh, which really help it. Personally, I've had some pretty good race for uh, memories. Um, in 2015, last ever go-kart race, um, we were at the June Sprint Classic at the Eastern Lions Kart Track, and um, yeah, it was the Champion Champions race, which was the last event for the, uh, uh, event? Last, last, <laughs> um, at this time, through this little mayhem that we have of COVID-19, um, I'm pretty much working and then on the weekends pretty much just watching racing, um, watching racing and playing Xbox with the boys, that's pretty much all I'm doing, um, and yeah, going cleaning the car, putting it back in the shed, get dust on it next weekend, go clean it again, go polish it, you know, just little things that just try and, I suppose, keep your head in the right mind state. Um, one of our plans for 2020 and beyond um, is not really that much in the pipeline at the moment. Um, but yeah, so pretty much just going racing with my family still, uh, keeping it family based. Don't really have the budget to go and race something else such as 86s, TCR um, or anything like that. So yeah, just sort of keeping it, keeping it small, keeping it basic. That's all we can do at the moment. Uh, I've got three people I want to nominate for this wee rolling uh, little video. I'd like to nominate uh, Cooper Webster, Ben Bargana and Tim Rouse. It'd be awesome to hear them tell the story. Um, also, I am shaving off my hair, if you guys didn't know. Um, and I'm also shaving off my hair, all of it gone, um, hopefully, in uh, also, uh, if you guys didn't know, I am shaving off my hair uh, on July the 25th it was supposed to be, but uh, the plan is for now, if we're not racing by then. Uh, also, I am shaving off my hair for breast cancer. Um, it will be on there July the 25th at the uh, fourth round of the state championship, uh, if we are racing. So, um, yeah, I'm sure we can get a little plug somewhere here of me racing page and if you just scroll down a couple of posts there should be the link and you can donate there um, any sort of donations are awesome and also gets your opportunity to be on the roof of the car get your name on the roof of the car